G'day everyone and welcome to another YouTube video. Um, today's topic will be on Empowerment Barra Lua Colours. Um, as you know it's a very contentious topic. We've all got our favourites, we've all got our theories, um, but I think we need to be very honest and say that Lua Colour catches more anglers than fish. Um, I think if there was only one model Lua, one individual Lua, out there and it only ever came in one color we would spend a lot less time in our tackle shops instead of just buying copious amounts of different lures and colors now this video is basically just for empowerment barra monday um, i guess there's a lot of it you can probably apply to saltwater fish as well they are very very different environments and there's a lot of different factors but at the end of the day they're still the same fish and things to work exactly the same now, I've only got two lures in the video, as you can see. I've got the Jackal Squirrel, which is, of course, the modern-day favourite. And we've got the old-school favourite in, in the background, which, of course, this is what a lot of the old fellas would have caught back in the day when Teneru, Faust and Awonga was high on the scene. This is a Sand Viper. The, the Viper probably more or less was the main fish catcher, but two extremely popular lures. They're both hard bodies. Don't have any soft plastics for this video, but... The only reason I've got two lures here and not a whole tray of lures is for one reason and one reason only, and that's to keep things simple. Too many times do we overcomplicate things when it comes to empowerment barrel money, and lure colour is where a lot of people go wrong and they only focus on lure colour and other factors which really don't matter too much. Lure colour is one of them, hot, hot water is another one of them. Too many lures and too many colours can sometimes really overcomplicate over our lure selection. Um, the broader range of lures or having a much broader range of lures is much more important than having a broader range of lure colours. Um, so different types like sinking, diving, soft plastic, surface lures, having that bigger range is far more important than having large quantities of just one lure or a few different lures in many different colours. They all work. That's something we all need to just give into and accept. They all work. Right. Confidence. Confidence is very, very big in barrow fishing, and that's what I fish with. I always fish with stuff which makes me confident. I think a lot of other people do as well. Fishing with confidence is very important. It will yield results, but we shouldn't be deterred about what other lure colours that we may have. If we only have one jackal squirrel with us in our tackle box, and we lose that lure, or should I say if we have a few and we lose one in our favourite colour, and we've got a few different more colours there, we shouldn't be deterred. Only on very, very few days in my fishing life and experience have I found that one colour will work really, really good on one day and other lures will always work on the next. Lure colour is not that important. There are a few theories about though, and I thought I'd talk about those now. One of which is darker colour lures at night and how they cast a better shadow. Gold would be in that category. Black, white, not that white's a darker lure, but it's a dark primary colour. And a lot of people have that theory that casts a better shadow at night, and I, for one, probably subscribed to that theory for a long time. And I found that it didn't apply, because after that, after quite a few years of just fishing with black lures and darker colours, I then swapped to lighter colour lures. I was then fishing with fluoro-coloured bombers or blues and whites and other different kind of stuff, and it never had any impact on my fishing. And that comes under any moon phase, whether it's a full moon, new moon, half moon. So darker colour lures at night, that theory I was able to dispel. And another theory is brighter colour lures in brighter coloured water. Um, and I definitely see that pattern and definitely see that theory with a lot of freshwater fish in North Queensland, like sooty grunter and jungle perch and things like that. Brighter colour lures in brighter colour water, it does work. I don't know what it is to it, whether it's just an appeal. But when it comes to barramundi, I do not see that factor. It, it just does not exist. Any lure colour works. Gold. Now, that's one reason why I've got a gold colour lure here is, of course, gold has always had a cult following with barra fishermen. I remember the first time I went out to Karumba and everyone said there's only one type of lure you need out there and that's gold lures. And I think that really just does stem from the gold bomber. Of course, gold bombers have been around forever and a day. They've caught more barra probably than any other fish. And I think we harp on about gold a little too much. It's a great colour, great colour scheme for any water or any environment. If you're confident in it, fish with it. But gold has always had that cut following. 
I thought I'd bring up an interesting story while we're on the to topic of gold. And this just goes along the lines of just expelling the theory. But a group of us went up to fish a, a few landlocked lagoons up near Cape Flattery many years ago. And the guys we were fishing with had been up there many times. And what happens with these lagoons is they get an enormous wet season. A lot of the water runs off, a lot of the fish run off, and anything that's left behind gets trapped in these lagoons. And they're really, really easy fish to catch. The guys I was fishing with weren't the greatest fishermen in the world. They'd actually caught a lot of fish, but I still found myself having to tie leaders on for them, setting their drag settings. But I mean, after that, they were, they were on fire. But they said to me before we left, they said, there's only one lure colour or one type of lure which you should bring. And I said, well, what's that? And they said, gold lures. And I said, okay, I've, I've heard this theory before. Righto, let's go. So we got up to our first landlocked lagoon one morning. And of course, those guys had the gold bombers, and I went for a silver B-52 with the owner hooks and all the gear, all the idea. These guys were tossing lures around left, right, and center in no fashion, and these guys were cleaning up. And I put it down to one thing, because I thought, you know what, for shits and giggles, I'm going to change my silver color B-52, and I'm going to tie on a gold one. And I had three fish and three casts, I kid you not. What I put it down to on that particular day was probably the overhead conditions and also the tannin-coloured water. Now, tannin-coloured water is not something which you're likely to fish with too much, but in the Northern Territory and other parts of Queensland, tannin-coloured water is a place where you will find barramundi, where barramundi live, obviously. And gold and tannin-coloured water is a great combination. I would then later that afternoon went on to catch a few more fish on my silver B-52 to dispel that theory, but... Again, it's what you're confident in. I lost my confidence with that silver colour lure that morning. I went to a gold thinking that, ah, I'll catch fish, and what do you know? My technique was exactly the same. We're fishing the same kind of spots. But in the end, although it didn't seem like it at the time, in the end, lure colour played very little difference. I'll quickly talk about the Viper colour lure in the back, though, and this is my confidence colour scheme. If someone had to hold me at gunpoint and say, what is your absolute favourite lure colour or lure colour scheme? It would be this one. It's black, silver, and green. Those three colours I've always found with empowerment barrel lures to be fantastic. And this colour scheme is called Tarpon. And of course, it's made by Predatec Viper. Fantastic, fantastic colour scheme, fantastic lure. So, guys, I hope you can take a little bit away from this short video. Empowerment, lure, um, empowerment lures for Barramundi. Don't harp on about colours. Enticement, speed, Action and size are all far more critical to our fishing success than lure colour. So fish with those kind of factors in mind and leave lure colour at home. They all work. I'll see you for my next video.